All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we want to start out by giving our praise and honor glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakodash. All right, double honors to the elders, apostles at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching the truth. All right, we the GMS Memphis Count, and Yaka Nun. I'm right now. And uh, today we got a quick lesson, just going into uh, the Bible is all we need. Okay, uh, uh, this this is all we need to make it to make it out of here, man. Is is what the Lord gave us in these scriptures, man. You know, hey, uh, Isaiah thirty three and six, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, man. So this this is all we need right here, man. We don't need all these other uh, books, all these other uh, vain philosophies that this world pushes. Okay, we got it all right here. Okay, so uh, first scripture is <clears throat> Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right, and the book of the Lord is what? It's Bible, man. It, what it say? Uh, basic instruction before leaving earth. Mm -hmm. You see? Go ahead. It says, No one of these shall fail. Speaking of what? The prophecy. The prophecy is not going to fail, but it's accomplished whereto he sent it, you know? Go ahead. It says, none shall want her mate. Okay, none shall want her mate. So this Bible cannot be uh, cannot be compared to any other book. This Bible cannot be compared to the book of the dead. Right. H hence, it's called the book of the dead for a reason. It's a dead ass book. Mm -hmm. No life in it. You know, this Bible can be compared to the to the Quran, mm -hmm. the book of Enoch, so forth and so on, man. You see? Why could it hold its weight? You know? Prophecy, man. This is what makes this book alive, man. Right. Living. You see, because of prophecy, which is what? The, the spirit of your house died. That's right, bro. You got it. It says, for my mouth, it had commanded, and his spirit, it had gathered them. Right, so this is Revelation 19 to 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, see thou do it not. Mm -hmm. I am that fellow servant, and of that brethren that have the testimony of your house died, worship the most high, for the testimony of your house died, it's a spirit of prophecy. Testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. Going back to what it said, no one of these shall fail. These prophecies shall not fail. Because what? The Lord's word, word is not going to fail. Mm -hmm. Bible shall get that in Isaiah. You just quoted it. Yeah, I get it. Uh, because, <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, hey, hey, the scriptures say uh, uh, the, the uh, book is written of me, ultimately, like uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing that. We got it too on deck, uh, Psalms forty, okay. But hey, this this book is is living, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that lets you know, hey, your Howard Shai is is in the book, man. Yeah, All right, spirit. his spirit is in the book, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get uh, what? Well, no, yeah. get yeah, yeah, yeah. It is yeah. Isaiah fifty five and eleven. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish. That which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Man. Right. Hey, the Lord, the Lord word is not going to return void, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, these, these prophecies are not going to turn around and return, man. Okay, it's going to prosper. We just got finished looking at a video, and uh, uh, Dabu Seven put out it's it's going down in in in, in uh, Ukraine right now, man. Right. That's prophecy. <laughs> That's prophecy being fulfilled. And these, these things are only going to uh, continue to, to uh, escalate. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you want to say something? I had it. No, okay, sure. you got it. Uh, this is, <clears throat> this is Sirach 39 and 1. But, but, he, <clears throat> but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Right, occupied in prophecy, man. That's what we should be, is occupied in prophecy, meaning what? Occupied in these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Occupied in, in the book, because, hey, this, this book is prophecy. This book is living, man. Right. Like you were going into, man, I, none of these other books can, can, uh, uh, can do what the Bible can do, you know? Mm -hmm. They don't compare. Right. All right, that's the reason these other religions they had they refer back to the scriptures, man. Like the book of uh, the dead, the Quran, the Quran. Basically, the Quran tell you basically go uh, uh, go go to Israel, mm -hmm. you know, worship uh, the God of Israel, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Man. Yep. 
Because it's all about prophecy, man. This Bible holds weight and going to what? End time prophecies, man. No other Bibles don't. They can't tell you what's going on in the earth and yeah. why it's happening. They don't, you know? Know, they don't know who the hell they are, first and foremost. Yep. <laughs> and so they don't know what, what, what's going on. Those books are just uh, 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 basically like uh, Esau just put that shit out there, man. Stumbling block. Stumbling block. That's yep. it. Perfect like, word, like, like bro. the book of Enoch, man. The book, all the other books, man. This Bible is all you need to receive your salvation, man. Yep. You know, because did not the scripture say the word was made flesh? And ultimately, who, who, who is that word? Yeah, how was that, man? You know? You got it up. Uh, um, this is Psalms 40 and 7. Mm -hmm. It says, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me. It is written of the how was that? If you see his spirit, this whole book from the Genesis all the way you know, to the New Testament, and the Apocrypha included, is written by Yahweh Shot, man. And he is the word, man. He is the word, yep. Yeah. Uh, I got one for you, huh? Yeah. This is John 6 and 63. John. It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Hey, it's plain, man. It's plain. Hey, hey, the, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is, is, is written up in, the, in these scriptures, man. It, it, it's all in the volume of the book. Mm -hmm. All right? So, ultimately, man, hey, you have, to, you have to be consumed in this, man. The word. All right? That's, that's the only way we're going to get out of this, man. That's the only way we're going to uh, uh, ultimately uh, receive salvation, man. Okay? The word. You have a shot. The spirit it has to be in you, man. Uh, you know? This is yes, a, yeah, this second is 16 and 35. Come. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Mm -hmm. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. So he said, behold, the word of the Lord, receive it, man. Put it in your pocket. Take hold of it, man. Hold it. You know? And that's plain, man. And you get that Joshua 1 and 8. Because uh -huh. this is all we need to receive salvation, man. You can't receive salvation reading the book of the dead, man. You're going to stay dead. Yep. You could say he didn't want to out the way of uh, understanding. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, Proverbs 21, 16. So, yep, yeah, this, uh, this is Joshua 1 and verse 8. It says, <coughs> This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, mm -hmm. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Right. Meaning, hey, you, you should, you supposed to be thinking about the scriptures uh, uh, constantly, man. Like uh, one of our words of the day was what? Well, fervent, being on fire for the word, man, for the truth. Yeah. It's supposed to be, uh, it's a lot. Go ahead. I was just saying, you supposed to be on fire, you supposed to be hot for, 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 uh, the, the, the word of how about Shema Shah, man? Yep. It shouldn't be a day that goes by that you're not uh, consumed or, or, or you're not uh, uh, doing something uh, furthering the truth, you know, yep. so to speak. You know, you know you're going to have days where you might not be able to push out that same uh, consistent product, uh, consistent energy. You might be down in the spirit or you might be sick or whatever but you still supposed to be on fire i don't mean you can't watch videos yeah you know meditate going to what study yep you see <laughs> you got it it says uh this book of the this is joshua 1 and 8 the this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth mm -hmm. <clears throat> but thou shalt meditate therein day and night and thou shalt, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Right, that you uh, be obedient to everything that went therein, to right. the best of your ability, right? Yep. <clears throat> that yeah. This is uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus, uh, Sirach 39 and 1. It says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, it's occupied. It's like in the law, it's full of what? <clears throat> Instructions. Mm -hmm. 
You know? So study this book of what instructions, man. Right. Oh, book for one. I'm gonna hold man, you know. hey, because what Jake or Jake and I, 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 I just recently got to arguing with Jake <laughs> at work about you know the law. Not saying that it's all about the law because you got other uh, uh, groups that go into that. Just think the book, hey, the law, the law, the law, the law, the law. No, we under grace. We got grace. But, hey, at the end of the day, man, you tr you supposed to keep the laws that you can keep. Mm -hmm. Okay? Jake feel like, oh, I, I can't, we can't keep the law so I can do whatever I want to do. No. That's not, that's not the grace period you under is to get yourself in the uh, further yeah. debt. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, that's just, that's just going off, man. It don't make no sense. Well, if, if you got a grace period, what do you, what should you be doing? You should be trying to uh, uh, use that grace period to get yourself as as far out of debt as possible. Yeah, come, come <laughs> on with the money to, 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 right. to, to buy it. Because right. we all bought with a price, man. Yeah, that's right, brother. How can we pay off our de uh, debts by treating our bodies a living sacrifice, man? Mm -hmm. You know, you got it. Yep, it says, and is occupied in the meditation of, will seek out of the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. Wait, and Mr. Spirit, it came out the second time, hey. man. Two times, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> it's a myth. It's a myth. All right. Going back to uh, Joshua um, 1 and 8 again. It says, For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So this is the only way a Christian can prosper, by being obedient to the word. Mm -hmm. You know, by obeying and hearkening and listening to the Abba's word, man. You yeah. know? And this is uh, Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. Yep. You see? All that, all they that keep it should come to life. See? But such as leave it shall die. Such as leave it shall die, man. So ultimately, when you're not following the law and you're not following the, the, the book, uh, the, the book of life right here, Ultimately, you fought, you you in the congregation of the dead, man. Yeah. You're headed down a path of death, man. Hey, that's that's a proverb that, that I would say a way it seemed right to a man because it seemed like you're on the right path, seemed like you're doing the right thing in your mind, but ultimately, man, hey, you're going off and you you're headed down a road of destruction. Yeah. If you're not following the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, the, the way it's written in the book. Okay, the way the Lord intended, then you're going off, man. Yep. You know? And this is a quick one. Proverbs 12 and 28. And the way of righteousness is life. Oh. And in the pathway thereof, there's no death. So, coming back to Baruch 4 and 2. Turn thee, O Jacob. Who is Jacob? Us, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And wherever Jacob, Israel, been scattered to, you know, across the four winds of the earth, which still goes back. To Israel, it said, "Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Take hold of what? This book, this Bible. Yep. You know, take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou may be illuminated. So mm -hmm. this word is what a, a light. A, oh man, hey, know, that's a Psalms, Psalms yeah. one nineteen yep, one hundred five. Yep, yep. yep. Psalms one nineteen one hundred five, man. Yep. Oh shit, one hundred five. Yep." Uh, hmm. 105. Oh, 105. Yeah. Lots of, brother. Yep. There you go. This is Psalms 119, 105. That word is a lamp unto my feet. Right. The, hey, his word is a lamp unto, unto our feet. Right. The scriptures did say what wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times, time. man. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have that light during the dark times, during the um, darkest hour, Jacob's trouble, man. You see? Mm -hmm. So his words are limp onto our feet. He's going to gather. That's why the scriptures say, well, lean not to thy own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And he should direct our paths that we acknowledge him, man. Yeah. You see? You got it. It says, thy word, this is Psalms 119 and 105, thy word is a limp. Unto my feet uh -huh. and a light unto my path. And a light unto my path. You go to 130. Uh, it says, The entrance of thy words giveth light. In the beginning, in the beginning of, 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 of this word, in the beginning of knowledge is what? Fear the Lord. Yep. And that's what? The first step to be accepted of Him. You see? 
So the entrance of his word is what giveth light. Give it light, man. And the wisdom make a man face to shine, man. Ooh. You got it? It says, it giveth understanding unto the simple. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> so you don't need no book of the dead, no other, any other book. The scripture said, be not children and talks to and fro. We're right. in the wind of doctrine, man. That's right. This is all you need, man. <laughs> you see? Yep. So it said back in Baruch 4 and 2, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated while you can be a light. Mm -hmm. Now you know which way to go. No, now you know the way. Hmm, now see? you know the way. <laughs> and Follow the path. And that's what Yahweh Shaka. He is the light. Yep. He is the word, man. Yep. And for a Christian, you I, I mean that that's what they say. Is hey, uh uh well what would that remember they had those little bracelets, it's probably before your time, but yeah. they had little bracelets. What would what would Jesus do? <laughs> you know, the to remember to follow it. They had little fringes on it, mm -hmm. you know. But then you you don't follow any of the uh laws, statutes, or commandments, man. The Lord uh, he he followed them to a T. He was perfect. You know? <laughs> so hey, you supposed to follow that light, man. Yep. You know? Which is your hour shot, man. That's it. Uh, this is Revelation. Did you have something? Nah, you got it. Okay, this is Revelation 19 and verse 10. It says, and I, did we bring this up? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I want to say 13. 19, okay, 13. Okay, okay, come on, come on. This is Revelation 19 and 13. Uh, it says, and he was clothed with a vesture dripped in blood. Yeah, I was shy. And his name is called the Word of the Most High. Wait, his name is called the Word of the Most High, the Word of God. Yep. You see? In the, when we say in the Word, um, John 1 and 1, not John 1 and 1, but John the 4th chapter. And, and the Word walked amongst us, uh -huh. became flesh. So Yahweh is the Word, man. Right. You know? <laughs> so we got to walk in Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. You're not walking in Yahweh Shah, not walking in this Word. You see, you're a dead man, man. Yeah, we through. You know? Yep. Yeah, I know. Nah, I was gonna get that last one. Oh, you, she had something else. Yeah, John seven thirty eight. Come on. This is yeah. John seven and thirty eight. It says, He that believeth on me as the scripture hath said, yep. out of his belly shall flow rivers of, of living water. And that's plain, man. Now you've been made alive, man. You've been quickened by the Holy Spirit. This word, man. You see, what, uh, what the scripture says in Psalms 119, how can a young man clean his way by up. taking heed according to the word? So you become born again. This is right. the true baptism by taking heed according to this word, man. Yeah. John 15 and 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, man. Right. For the yeah. flesh profit nothing. But the words that the Lord speak, they are spirit and they are life, man. Yeah. So this word can save you, man. Yeah. And you take hold of it, man. You know? So yep. um, I get that James. Yeah, okay. This is James one twenty one. It said, "Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls." Ooh, the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Basically, going into the uh, uh, what you were just speaking on, brother, about hey, you have a shot being the word, man. Cause this is the only way you're, you you're gonna regain well gain salvation, yeah. you know. So like it, this is the only way you're gonna gain salvation, man. Is through through the word of the scriptures, man. Yep. Through your have a shot, man. You know. And can I read it in the NLT, please? Come on, bro. This is James one twenty one and NLT. So get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives, mm. and humbly accept the word God has planted in your hearts, for it has the power. To save your souls, Ooh, man. It has the power to save your souls, man. This is life right here, man. Come on, man. Oh, it just made me think of this one is, more. This is life, man. Because, yep. hey, don't hold the bush. Don't talk about the MOTB. Yeah. Hey, we're less 13, 16. All we're done is, uh, 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 what's that, wisdom. This is wisdom. Let him count the number of the beast. So that's wisdom that I was understanding right there. To know what the, the MOTB is, which is the implantable, Grand of rice RFID, you know, mixture. You see? Mm -hmm. And the scriptures tell us what? Not to take it. If we take it, we're going to be part of the second death. Right. So this word, having that knowledge, having that wisdom, this word has the power to save your soul, man. Yep. You know? <laughs> you got I have it. a quick one. This is uh, 
Or we can go back back to that giant. But this is uh, Sirach 19 and, and 19. It says, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is a doctrine of life. It's the doctrine of life, man. But those that despise this word should what? Be destroyed. Proverbs 13 and 13. Yep. You see? <laughs> you got it. it says, and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, the fear of the Lord is our wisdom. Mm -hmm. and, and our wisdom is the performance of the law. And that's what we're doing through scripture. Yeah, but my child, we rehearsing, rehearsing righteous the righteous act. acts of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. And the knowledge of his omni uh, omnipotency. Your all power. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We go back to this uh James. This is uh one twenty one. Read it again. Yeah, yeah, we read that again. <laughs> yep. End it out. Uh this is James one and twenty one. It says, Wherefore well, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity. Of naughtiness and receiving so what take out that old man and put on the God. new man, which is after righteousness, man. You know, walking in how shall walk in this word. You know, go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, um, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. So only this book, this Bible, <laughs> is all you need that that you can uh, that you can receive salvation. Yep. You know, it's all you need to receive salvation, man. This Bible, man. That's it, bro. You got it. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the GMS, salutations, and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.